I'm Linda Stovall from Alpharetta, Georgia, born and reared here. Well, actually born in, born in Atlanta, but lived here my whole life and my parents and their parents. So we go back many generations here. And uh, we bought the store in November of 1974. And then we sold it in March of 1981, or well, we closed it down. It, we thought we had it sold, and that's another whole story. Yeah, uh, there were no other little mom and pop stores in here. I think the Little Giant was gone. Do you remember the Little Giant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was already gone. I'd be down here about 6.30 every morning, and then Buddy would bring Amanda when he, he's not an early riser like me, so I'd get up and come down and open up the store, and, and then he'd bring her, and then sometimes I'd take her back for naps, and then we'd stay up until 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, we would go to the farmer's market once a week and buy our produce. Sometimes I'd go and come back loaded to the hilt. Amanda would ride with me. She was only 18 months old when we bought the store, so she'd go to the farmer's market with me and we'd buy the canned goods and some, of the, some produce, peanuts. We sold peanuts in the big barrel and yeah. When we first opened up the store, I guess it did pretty good you know, for that, that era, uh, we'd have people come in and buy $30, $40 worth of groceries. And then as time evolved, it would be a loaf of bread, gallon of milk, and uh, maybe fill up with gas or get $5 worth of gas every now and again. But um, we would just have, have these canned goods on the store that I was dusting over and over and over again, and they weren't moving. And I just felt like it was time that we just move on out. Just to have somebody to come in and buy a week's groceries, that was a, that was a thing of the past, sort of. I think most everyone could see that the handwriting was on the wall, the mom and pop store days were gone. In Alpharetta, 400 had opened up and, you know, the big box grocery stores were coming in. And it was, it was a good feeling for me. I was at peace with getting rid of it and being back home again with the children, and I was so happy. I don't think Buddy was quite as happy as I was. He liked the idea of owning his own business. I never did, and yeah. And the biggest thing was the children were growing up, and I just felt like I'd missed so much of their lifetime. But you know, that's a 12 month a year thing. We didn't have vacations, yeah. So, um, it was not that we could have afforded it if we'd had the time off, but, uh, but, it, but the big, gross, big box grocers were becoming prevalent around, and uh, that was, we were right on the tail end of the demise of the mom and pop grocery stores. Right. Yeah, but we had some good years there. It was a sweeter, gentler time. It really, really was.